First of all, the right bow position. Keep it like this between your fingers, gray and down. It allows you to perform the most important playing techniques like flipping and tilting. Also, it allows you to perform staccato in the most efficient way. I recommend don't do staccato like this, because it requires a long hand movement, long way before the velocity will change significantly. I recommend performing staccato like this. By this movement, you change bow position from horizontal to vertical and change magnetic field from zero in this position to maximum in a very short time. This way you can perform staccato more sharp, more fast, more artistically. Flux allows to switch between staccato and legato very fast, just changing your playing technique. The same for the left hand and left bow. Operating left bow one of the most complex things in flux, in my opinion. Why? Because you most probably will keep your eyes watching the right hand, right bow, because you need to perform correct pitch. So most probably you will need to operate left hand blindly without eye control. For precise controlling of bow position, I recommend to rest your finger on a flux surface like this. This way you can avoid bow position shifting, arm shifting, and you can memorize by muscle memory where is key points for flux control and remember it without eye control. To master flux, I recommend to perform exercises as in any professional instrument. I recommend to take exercises for violin or vocal that are continuous pitch instruments and just add left hand movement and control timbre along with performing note sequences by the right hand, like this.
also play staccato, legato and all combinations of it. You can adopt many different exercises from different instruments and uh, develop your own way of approaching flux and master your movements with flux to achieve the best flexibility and best performance of this type of music that you are going to perform with flux. Also, you can master your vibrato. Please consider that there is two types of vibrato, like this. Pitch vibrato and amplitude vibrato. Flux has a very unique possibility for a synthesizer to shape sound not by automations like envelopes and LFOs, but purely by hands movements. For fast switching to staccato, you can also use the pedal. If the pedal is pressed, flux will trigger a note when the bow changes its direction from down to up. The velocity depends on how close the bow was to the flux surface in the moment of direction changing. By adding release, you can make these percussive notes longer. This is without pedal, this is with pedal. You can make very fast changing playing techniques using pedal. If you switch to percussion mode, then pedal will act opposite. When you press pedal, it will switch you to legato mode. This is with pedal. Without pedal. and a tip on how to operate flux touch sensors holding a bow in the left hand. The flux keyboard is blocked if a magnet close to keyboard. 
It is made for prevention of sudden change of synthesis parameters without your intention during performance if you unintentionally touched the sensors. So if you have a magnet quite close to keyboard, you can control nothing. Therefore, for unblocking the sensors, you need to move the magnetic balls away. I prefer to do like this. I use dump, move the ball away, like this, and then I can dial parameters. For example, I can switch presets. The flux interface intended for very fast performance-oriented operation. You can change all flux parameters just in one touch. That's all for the explanation of the basic flux operation. Wish you happy fluxing!